Now that we've reviewed the basic types of research, it is time to examine the components of a typical research article to enable you to find key information. For the purpose of this discussion, articles are divided into four parts, introduction, methods, results or findings, and discussion. When conducting a literature search, the title is the first thing you see. Titles vary in length and can contain a lot of important information. For example, the title of this article tells the reader the topic. Other article titles may also include client population under study or research design, among other information. Scan titles for a topic of interest to you before reading the abstract and or full article. It is always a good idea to read the abstract of an article. Abstracts provide a brief synopsis of the article. You should be able to find information about the importance of the topic, purpose of the research, methodology, and key findings. Carefully examining the abstract can save you a lot of time by telling you if the article is likely to be of interest to you. For example, this abstract contains a brief significance statement as well as the design and purpose. It also has sample and data collection information, key findings, and implications, as well as the major limitation. If the article is of interest, continue to examine the full article more closely. Due to space limitations, authors cannot fit everything of importance into the abstract. The first section of the paper is the introduction. It presents the problem or issue being examined, complete with a summary of the existing literature. This summary defines central concepts or variables under study and highlights gaps in the current literature. If a theoretical framework is being used, it will also be outlined in the introduction. In qualitative research reports, you will find a problem statement. Quantitative research reports will have questions, objectives, and or hypotheses guiding the study. The purpose or research question is normally found at the end of the introduction. It may also be presented at the beginning of the methods section. In this article, the problem and purpose statements are located at the beginning of the introduction. Note that central concepts are outlined in the purpose statement, then described in the literature review. This article also contains clearly defined hypotheses and a conceptual framework. The next section outlines the research design. As discussed earlier, the focus of qualitative research is generally the meaning of words, observations, or pictures. Quantitative research uses statistical analyses to answer research questions. The sampling and data analysis methods used differs between qualitative and quantitative research methodologies. In this article, the inclusion criteria and sampling method are clearly described. There is also an indication of the number of participants, as well as a description of data collection instruments. This section concludes with a description of how data were analyzed. In quantitative research, you will find a results section. Qualitative researchers call this section findings. The format and presentation of information in this section will depend on the type of study you are examining. This study presents results in a tabular format accompanied by a narrative linking findings to each hypothesis. Tables are common in quantitative studies. This article also contains a model demonstrating correlations between tested concepts. The final section is the discussion. Researchers present their key findings, linking them to practice in areas for future research. This section will also include limitations of the current study. This article demonstrates the importance of key findings for nursing practice and also has a separate limitations section. Not all articles will present limitations in a separate section from the discussion. Concluding remarks are used to again highlight what needs to be done in light of the current study. 
Before you come to class, be sure to read through the assigned literature. Try to identify the components of each article. Thank you for listening to this presentation about nursing research, an important aspect of professional nursing. I hope you have learned something new about research today.